Hello everyone and welcome back to a new system that I just added to the marketplace, which is the text and voice dialogue system. So the system is basically split into two uh, parts. So there is the voice dialogue where the players actually play a sound cue uh, of their voice lines. Uh, there's a subtitle system and there's a, a way for you to actually add like a tree of voices uh, with different speakers. So for example, over here you can see an example that is start at begin play. So this dialogue will start automatically. Uh, the only thing that you need is to drag a dialogue conversation that you create. Uh, so if I go into blueprints and open up my uh, voice conversations and open one of them, uh, this is the number one. You can see that I just have a voice dialogue. I have over here uh, told which speakers are which. So each one of these actors is Jane and Davis. And then uh, you basically just call this macro, which is going to play the dialogue. Uh, there's a bunch of settings that you can add, but it's very uh, easy to understand, and I'll explain all of those in a separate video. Um, but sh just so you can see it in action, I'm going to press play, and you can see right away. So, Jane, how are you? It's been a while since we talked. I'm good. Thanks for asking. You don't sound good. Are you sure everything's okay? I don't know. Just have some stuff going on at the moment, you know? I understand. Just let me know if I can do anything to help. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, so as you can see, uh, each one of them is going to play their dialogue according to the conversation blueprint that you added in. Uh, now, there's basically the same thing over here, but uh, instead of being a uh, just a blueprint that can be anywhere in the world, this one has a trigger attached to it. And as the player approaches or enters this trigger, is going to trigger uh, the conversation that you put here. Uh, and um, again, the speakers for the conversation uh, are over here. So if I play and approach, it's going to start the dialogue. Have you heard about our new boss? I hear he's uptight. Yeah, I heard about him, you could say. He's already getting on my nerves. Wait, what happened? What happened is that he's already bossing me around doing useless stuff. I hear that. I don't care, though. As long as the money comes through. So that's the start uh, by player proximity, which you can just put in your world. And as the player approaches and enters the trigger, it will play the voice dialogues. Uh, but now for the uh, probably the most important part, it's the runtime uh, example. So if I open up my example character real quick over here, you can see that I have a runtime voice uh, conversation example and what I'm basically doing here is that I'm spawning two example NPCs and then I'm spawning the conversation which in my case is the conversation three I'm connecting the uh, the speakers information with the spawn NPCs and then I'm just setting the dialogue and I'm playing the dialogue uh, by pressing Q and there's also a system that I added in which you can pause and resume uh, dialogue which in this case is going to be the dialogue that I set in this blueprint here. Um, so if right now I press play and press Q, I'm going to spawn a conversation uh, to NPCs, which will spawn also a conversation. So I'm going to press Q now. What the hell? What just happened? I don't know. It's like we just teleported or something. That was so weird. We have to find a way out of here. Calm down. I'm sure there is a rational explanation for this. Rational? Didn't you see what just happened to us? This is some voodoo crap. I'm out of here. There you go. So you can see this is the uh, runtime example. And I'm just going to spawn another one, which is going to be the same conversation, but just to show you the, uh, the pause and resume. So I'm going to press... What the hell? What just happened? I don't know. So I just press P to pause, and if I press resume, it will continue from the last line. I don't know. It's like we just teleported or something. That was so weird. Again, I paused, and now resume again. That was so weird. We have to find a... There you go. So this system is kind of useful uh, if you look, for example, in GTA games. Uh, if you are uh, having a conversation and you crash your car, the NPCs kind of stop and then restart their lines, I guess. Um... So it's kind of a good system if you need to pause your conversations in real time. And that's the part for the voice dialogue. Uh, it's very easy. Now, I'm going to have a separate video where um, uh, in the documentation section where I will explain how to create new conversations. Uh, it's very easy, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. This is just 
to showcase. And over here, we just showcase the uh, text dialog. So it's these two NPCs. The text conversations is uh, pretty much the same, but they work with uh, collapse nodes instead of a, a macro. Again, I'll explain to you uh, how you can create uh, these later. Uh, but you can see over here that we have a dialogue and then there's going to be branching dialogue that is incompatible with each other. And then this one is going to give you another option. So just to show you this uh, or what this looks like. Oh, also, let me just show you the way that you add a text conversation is you go into the component, which we need to add to your character. Uh, you have an available text conversation and you just set this here um, and then it will become available. So for uh, NPCs that have a available text conversation, you will have this input here, which is press F to speak. If, if you press F, it's going to show you a menu. You have your welcome message and now you can talk to the person. Uh, the NPC asks um, uh, how we are doing. Now we have to choose if we're uh, not doing good or if we're doing good. If I say I'm not doing good, the uh, NPC will give you another option asking, can I help? Which I'm going to say that I appreciate it. And then the dialogue ends because there's nothing else. And you can see that if I leave and come back, everything is stored and uh, you can leave in mid conversation. Uh, this is another different dialogue. Uh, and you can see that over here, I'm leaving on thank you, I'll uh, do that right away. If I press goodbye and come back, you can see that uh, everything is saved. And this is the, another dialogue system. So again, it works very similar to um, the sound dialogue. Uh, it's very similar, both systems are very similar, uh, but they work in uh, different ways, obviously. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be it for the showcase. This is pretty much everything that the product does. Again, I'm going to have a separate video where I'll explain how to add the system to new characters and how to create conversations from the beginning and explain everything step by step. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.